Hey guys, this is Dr. Sandy with your life-changing tip for the week. And one thing I want to say right off the bat, if you've been to the class before, we're going to change it up. Uh, and if you've never been to my class, Power Foods, we're going to be having this Tuesday coming up. Uh, I'm going to go over some life-changing information for you and your family. I can tell you, even when I look at myself, over the past two, three, four years, I'm eating very, very differently than before. Um, in this class, we want to give you tons of information on ideas, recipes that work in the real world, but things you can start doing. And one thing I want to share with you, too, is that we talk about, you know, with a lot of enthusiasm and excitement, change, uh, things we want to do different. But I want to share with you, when I really look at the big picture, it's actually, some changes you'll make very slowly, but the real changes that are permanent that I've personally seen in my own life, it actually takes usually years to make changes. And sometimes, I've heard some doctors say that you need to hear an idea 300, 400, sometimes thousands of times before it really penetrates into your skull and you make that kind of change. Uh, what's exciting, Dr. McCullough, a huge fan of his work as well, uh, was sharing some research that more and more of medicine is realizing by changing what we put into the body, uh, by exercising on a regular basis, we can have a huge impact um, not only on diabetes, but think about this. We can help someone who's diabetic naturally with diet recommendations, those kind of things as well. But imagine someone who's fairly healthy and their blood sugar is good, and they start to eat, and they start just doing fitness, they start to express that life potential. Maybe they're not sick per se, but their energy is better, they think more clearly, and you can't even put a price on those things. And what we believe in this office is, first of all, we want to see the entire family obviously getting the spine checked, whether they're in pain or not, just for a preventative basis. And even eating right, you know, I was talking to a group last night about this, uh, our new patients, is that the definition of true wellness, something you do every day, whether you are sick or not, whether you are in pain or not. So for example, whether you're sick or not, you should be having veggies every day. Whether you're sick or not, or you're diabetic, everyone should be exercising. There's certain things that everyone should be doing, whether they're sick or not, and that's exactly where chiropractic fits in. We still have an understanding that when I'm in, well, some people have an understanding that when I'm in pain, I'm supposed to see the chiropractor, and of course, we want to help those people heal, get on the road to recovery, but the best thing you can do for you and your family is that whether you're in pain or not, taking care of the body, and I think a profession I really admire is dentistry. They have taught us, why would you wait till crisis? Why wait till the teeth are decaying? Pus is coming, you're bleeding, you know, seven cavities, it's crisis management. Let's maintain the teeth, they last a lifetime. That's exactly what we want to do in chiropractic. Whether you're in pain or not, and if you're young or you're old, maintaining the spine for a lifetime so you don't have to have health issues, you don't have to deal with the degeneration, and really live the best life possible, because the scariest thing to me is losing your independence, and when you start to lose your health, that's the first thing that gets affected. Your confidence, your psychological well-being is dropped, we can't see that anymore. In 2013 and moving forward, we want to see families on a preventative basis, healthy, strong, and staying strong for a lifetime. So God bless. We'll see you next week with another health, team, uh, health tip, and best to you and your family.